Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at automation of the Mografoger plugins in a DAW such as Ableton Live. I have a little melody here that's coming from Animoog Z, and in the signal chain I have three Mografogers. The 108 Cluster Flux, the 102 Ring Modulator, and the 105 Murph. I'm going to start by just using the 108 and 102 for simplicity's sake, and leave the 105 bypassed via the active switch for now. Recording automation of the Mografoger parameters is just as straightforward as with any other plugin. Let's start playing this melody. and hit record up here in my Ableton transport. Now let's start playing with the parameters to record some automation. We can play with the mix of the cluster flux, and the mix of the ring modulator. Bring those back down. And when I hit stop, I can go to automation and see the curve that I just drew on the 108 cluster flux mix parameter or on the 102 ring modulator mix parameter. You can see the list of all the other parameters you can automate in the plugin, and that corresponds to pretty much every knob and switch that you see on the Mografogers. You can also go in and draw to create precise automation curves for all these parameters. There are a couple of other fun things you can do with automation via CV connectivity. Let's start our audio back up. And let's connect the cluster fluxes LFO to the ring modulator's frequency control. We can attenuate that down. And also we can double click the attenuator to fully attenuate the effect. And now I can draw some automation controlling the modulation depth of LFO from the cluster flux to the ring modulator frequency. Let's click record here again and record some automation of the CV depth. You can see it increasing around the frequency knob and then decreasing. And I can do that in both the positive and negative directions. Finally, let's explore automation a little deeper by turning on the MRF. Let's say we want to automate the rate parameter, but we're not sure which of these presets we want to use. Frozen Zombies sounds nice, as does Whispering Grass, but their rates are vastly different. The rate knob is in a totally different position between the two of them. Let's say we just want to record a little bit of automation moving the rate knob away from wherever the knob is set depending on the preset kind of like using an expression pedal. I can insert a DC offset into any of the parameters on the back CV panel, and instead automate the CV attenuator. This is like having an expression pedal and automating the expression amount. So if I click record and do a little automation of the CV rate parameter with the DC offset plugged in, that is going to just change the rate knob from where it is in the preset. So instead of recording automation of the absolute positions of the rate knob, I can insert a DC offset into the CV rate input and record automation of the CV attenuator. In other words, instead of recording automation to move the rate knob from, say, 2 to 4, for example, I'm recording automation to move the rate knob from wherever it is up and down by the amount that I draw with automation. With automation over every parameter of the Mografogers, as well as their CV connectivity, 
You can use your DAW for precise control of the Mogafogers and deep control over all aspects of your sound.